Hi everyone! Welcome to Crafting with Julia. I'm Julia and I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to get feedback from my viewers. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my newly released videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I invite you to join my Facebook group called Crafting with Julia's Creative Community, where you can be part of my crafting family. All of those links are in the description below this video. This video is all about making turkeys. It's turkey time. So for the first project, we're going to make this adorable little turkey. So what you're going to do first is you are going to print out the pattern. Now you will find the pattern in a link um, in the description below this video. So you're going to print out your pattern. Once you have it printed out, you're going to cut out the pattern and now you're going to lay it onto your fabric. So let me explain the pattern. Uh, we're going to start with the beak. This is the beak. You're going to cut two in felt. I'm using yellow felt. You're going to cut, I doubled the, the uh, felt and I traced my pattern and I'm going to cut two of those. This is the turkle. You're only going to cut one uh, and I'm using red felt. You're going to cut one of those. This is the hat crown. I'm using black felt and I'm only cutting one. This is the hat brim. So you're going to cut one and then you're going to make an X. You're going to snip it in the middle so that we can put it on the head. Okay, you're going to cut one. And then for the hat, you're going to take a piece of felt and you're you're going to cut a piece that is four inches wide by five inches long and that's what this is and we're just going to sew it and that will be that will be the middle of the hat then for the wings now this is the pattern for the wing you're going to place it on the fold and you want to cut two of them so this is my um, this is my pattern and you want to put either felt or some kind of batting uh, in between the layers because that will give it that nice fluffy look. So what I did was I put my pattern, I, I put my fabric together, right sides together, and then I pinned the batting to the back of one of the pieces and I traced out my pattern and that was on the fold and that's how that was traced out. So then I just put it all out like that and I trace the other half like that so that when I sew it I will sew all the way around you'll leave an opening so that you can turn it right side out okay and that's the wing and then you're going to cut a piece of wire this wire is about 16 inches long we're going to cut a piece of wire before we um, before we sew it up we are going to place the wire inside the wing and that will make it bendable so that we can do like cute little things like the turkey will be holding something. All right, so that's that. Then for the turkey itself, <clears throat> you're gonna cut two of the body and the head. Now when you print out the, the pattern, you will have the body and you'll have the head and I'll put a little indication that you need to tape it together, obviously, because it couldn't fit all on one sheet. So. Uh, that's your pattern. Okay, so you are going to double your fabric right sides together. You're going to trace it out and then when you sew it, you're going to leave an opening at the bottom so that you can uh, stuff it. So you're going to turn it right side out and then stuff it. Okay. Uh, for the eyes, I'm using two little black buttons and we're going to put them on the eyes like that. Okay, and then the beak will go on and then the turkle. Now for the tail, this is the pattern for the tail. You're going to cut one, you're going to place this on the fold. So again, I put my pattern right sides, uh, my fabric right, right sides together and I'm using batting in the back. You can use felt, that will give it a nice padded look. So you're going to put it on the fold 
and you're going to trace the tail. Okay, and then what I did was I opened it up and then I just traced the other part. And again, we're going to sew all the way around. You're going to leave this part open so that you could turn it right side out. Now, I made a little diagram. Um, we are going to make stitches in, when we turn it right side out, we're going to make stitches in the tail so that it will give it a little um, decorative look. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the, um, with the wings. We're going to turn it right side out and we're going to sew around and then I'm going to make a little decorative um, stitching with the wings. Okay, so I'm going to go and sew all my patterns and uh, sew all my fabric and... Uh, okay, we are ready to assemble our pieces. So I sewed all my pieces. I sewed and I stuffed the turkey body and closed up the bottom. I sewed the wing with the wire inside and I made the decorative stitching around the edge and in the middle and I did the same thing with the tail. Okay, so now we're ready to put it all together. So I'm first going to glue the wings to the center of the body. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and next the tail will go on. Let's make sure this is nice and glued. Okay, next the tail goes on. The tail will sit right like that. So, I am going to put some glue on the bottom of the body. And we're going to glue the tail right to the body. So let's put it on here. Okay, now we're going to put the hat on. Now, I, I think I, um, I gave you the wrong dimensions of the middle of the hat. The middle of the hat is four inches wide and eight and a quarter inches long. I think I said five inches long. It's not. It's eight and a quarter inches long. So I went ahead and I sewed that piece and then I sewed the top onto that piece and then I glued it to the bottom of the hat. Okay, so now we're just going to put the hat right on top of the turkey. So I'm going to do that first before I put the face on because then I'll know where to put the eyes and everything. So let's glue that to the top of his head. Okay, make sure the back seam is toward the back and we're going to glue that right to the top of his head. Okay, and then I'm going to embellish it a little bit. Okay. 
So I am going to put a little leaf here. And I have two acorns. I just dropped my other acorn. Here it is. Okay, I have my two acorns that I'm going to also attach. Okay, then I went ahead and I put stuffing in the beak and we're going to put the turkle on. So first we're going to put the turkle on and then the beak because the turkle has to be in the back of the beak. So we're going to put that on. So let's put the turkle on first, which will go right here. Okay. And then we're going to put the beak on. So I'm just going to put a little glue around the edge. And we're going to put the beak right on the turkle. And then I have these little black buttons that I'm going to put for the eyes. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and put the eyes on. Okay, there's the eyes. And now you'll see why we put the wire in the wing because I want him to be holding something, maybe a bouquet of corn. Okay? He could put his hands on his hips. You can give him a little personality. Project number two is this cute little gnome turkey. Is he not adorable? Let's make him. So let's go over the materials you're going to need. I'm just going to start out with a 9 inch styrofoam cone. Um, disregard the fact that it's black. I was going to use it for another project and decided not to. So um, I spray painted it black, but disregard it. It could be any color. Then you're going to need some felt for the body. And I am using this tan felt. It's called cashmere tan. It comes in a 9 by 12 piece of um, felt, which I got on Amazon. You're also going to need a um, three and a half inch circle. And for the sleeves, you're going to need three and a half by two and a half inch pieces. That's that. And they're all in the same color as the body. Then you're going to need two strips of brown felt and these are for the shoes. I am using the Dollar Tree baby shoes and you're going to need two strips two inches by five and a half inches of the brown felt 
and then you're going to need a spare piece for the sole of the shoe. Then you're going to need some faux fur. This is alpaca faux fur that I got on Amazon. I already cut it out. Um, but you can buy this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Actually, all my links will be in the description. Uh, you're also going to need some wood balls. So you're going to need two 16 millimeter balls and one 20 millimeter ball. That's for the hands and the nose. Then you're going to need uh, a sock. I bought this sock. It's called uh, Teddy Bear Brown. I bought it on Amazon. It's a nice fuzzy sock and that's going to be for the hat. Then you're going to need some felt in different colors. Um, I am using um, stiff felt because when you put it on, you want it to stand up like that. If you use regular felt, it will flop over. So um, I am using stiff felt and they're, it's made by Cricut. Uh, you're also going to need some felt for the nose and for the turkle, some red for the turkle and yellow for the nose, and then smaller pieces for um, the decorative feathers that are going to lay on the top. So like I said, it's, um, it's a stiff felt and I used my Cricut to cut them out. The image is on Cricut, it's called the turkey feather. Um, and if you don't have a Cricut, you can just eyeball it and just make a little design like that with a curved top. It's very simple. Um, and same thing for the nose and for the turkle. Just draw it out. It's very simple. Um, you're also going to need some white and black felt and that's going to be for the eyes. So, let's get started. We're going to take our cone and with the short side of the felt, you're just going to lay it on the cone. Lay it on the cone like that with a little hanging over. And you want it to hang over about an inch. Let's measure that um, so I can be sure of the dimension to give you. Yeah, it's, it's one inch, so it's going to hang over about an inch. So you're just going to glue that piece down. like that and then roll the rest of it around make sure it's nice and tight and smooth roll, roll it around and we're going to glue this end like that And then I'm just going to cut off this extra. I don't need it. I'm just going to cut it off. Okay. And then with the bottom, I want it all to be even. So I'm just going to cut off and make it all even. I want the bottom to be a, a circle hanging over about one inch. And then with my scissors, we are going to snip all the way to the cone. So you want to take your scissors and you want to snip it all the way to the cone. And just go around and keep snipping like that. Snip it all the way around. Okay, and then you're going to take some glue and we are going to just now fold all of these pieces in so that they lay flat on the bottom. Just like that.
okay? And then we're gonna take our three and a half inch circle and we're gonna put that on the bottom just to close up all of that and make it nice and neat. So we're just gonna glue that all down. Now we're ready to put the arms together. So we're just going to fold these pieces in half and you could sew it if you like, but I think we're just going to glue it. So I'm going to take some glue, just run a, a um, line of glue at the edge, fold it over. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. And like I said, these pieces are three and a half by two and a half inches. Just going to fold it over and then we're going to turn it right side out. So I am going to get my, um, my fabric turning tool. This is a great little tool. It's from Dritz. Um, it's a fabric turning tool. You just put it in your fabric, push it through one end, and voila, inside out. I love this tool. I use this tool probably more than any other tool. Um, I'll leave a link in the description um, below this video for this tool. Anyway, so these are your sleeves. Turn them inside out. Then you're going to get your little ball and we're going to glue that into one end of the sleeve. And these balls, uh, like I said, they're 16 millimeter balls and they fit right, very, very nicely into the sleeve. Just like that. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the other one. Okay, then now we're ready to glue it onto the body. So where the seam is, I'm gonna take where the seam is and we're going to just glue that right onto the body and make sure you have the, um, the seam that's on the body toward the back of the cone. So I'm gonna glue it, I think, right there. Yeah, right there. I think that looks great. Okay, so we're just going to put some glue at the top of the um, where the shoulder would be. And um, put a little glue on the inside to close up the, uh, the opening at that end. Okay, and that's your arms. Okay, now we're ready to put on the beard. Now I already cut my piece um, and we're just going to lay it across the top. Uh, if you guys don't know how to cut fur, you want to get something sharp, a scissor, and you want to cut underneath the, this fabric. You want to just grab the fabric and not the fur. Make sure you just cut the, fa the fabric part. Okay, you can use a razor blade, you can use a sharp scissor. I, I like to use a sharp scissor. And then we're just going to glue it right onto the body. So I'm just going to put a little glue at the top. Glue it on.
Okay, she looked like that. And now we're ready to put um, the shoes together. So I'm going to take my pieces of um, the strips of brown felt and I'm going to start at the back and just run some glue around the bottom of the shoe and glue this strip on. And like I said, the strips are two inches by five and a half inches. And you're just going to put it around the shoe. These are the baby shoes that you get from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just going to snip off that excess because I don't need that. Okay, then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the inside and we're just going to turn it all in. Then you're just going to take your finger and press down on the front and fold that part in. And actually, I haven't made these kind of shoes in a while. I should have done that first, pressed it in first, and it would have come out much better. But this is okay. It looks okay. And you're just going to fold it all in. And we're just going to do the same thing for the second shoe. Just run the glue around the bottom of the shoe, all the way around. And then we're going to cut off the excess. And this time we're going to do it the right way. I'm going to put the glue at the front and run my finger down, fold it in like that, and then put glue on the inside of the shoe and just roll the rest of it in. And that comes out way easier. Okay, so now we're going to take the um, extra piece and we're going to um, glue the shoe down and we're going to make the sole of the, sh of the shoe. So I'm just going to run some glue around the bottom edge of the shoe, place it on the brown felt, and then just cut around it. Okay, like that. And we're going to do the same thing for the other shoe. Cut around it. Okay. And I want to um, stuff the inside of the shoe because we're going to glue the shoe onto the body, um, make like he's sitting. So I'm going to put some, some um, scrap felt that I have and just stuff the inside of the shoe. And that'll fill up that cavity and then I can glue it and just stick it onto the body.
Now there are so many ways to make these gnomes. This isn't anything new. If you uh, go on Pinterest or YouTube, there's a ton of videos on how to make gnomes. This is um, just a gnome that, that um, I wanted to make a turkey gnome. So the basic making of the gnome is really not my idea. It's, it's uh, all over YouTube. You can find it anywhere. So now I'm going to take a little bit of rope and I'm just going to run it around the bottom of the shoe because um, when you do the shoe, sometimes you can see the pink uh, coming out of the bottom. So I don't want to see that. So I'm just going to take some rope and run it around the bottom of the shoe and just to give it a nice decorative edge. It just looks more finished. So we're going to take that rope and go around. You can use ribbon. Um, you can use twine. Um, you don't have to use anything. I mean, if you like the way it looks, that's fine. You could use felt. You can use foam. So many different options. Okay, and then we're just going to cut it right there. Okay, and that looks way better. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other shoe. Okay, and we're just going to glue it right onto the body. I'm just going to snip off those little extra hairs. So like I said, we're just going to put some glue around the top. and glue it right onto the body. And then it'll look like he's sitting. Put one there. and one there. Okay, and now we're ready to put the nose on. So I'm going to take my 20 millimeter ball, just put some hot glue on it, and we're going to stick it right at the top of the beard. He's looking cute already. Okay, we're going to put the sock right over the top of the cone. And you can stuff it if you like. I don't want it stuffed. I like it um, a little scrunchy at the top. So we're just going to put that on and um, I think my, I think my shoes are coming off. Let me put more glue on there. Make sure they're on tight. Okay, so 
Now we're going to put some glue at the top of the nose and we're going to glue the hat to the top of the nose. And then we're just going to go around and glue the hat to the body. Okay, just fix this hat a little bit. And now I'm ready to put the feathers on. So I'm just going to arrange them how I want them to be. And we're going to stick them right on to the back of the hat. Just like that. So I'm going to take a little bit of glue. Put it on the bottom of the feather, arrange them how I like them, and now we're just going to glue that to the back. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I want to make sure I have the colors facing the right way. So it's red, yellow, and orange. So whatever colors you use, you want to make sure you got them the right way. And now we're just going to glue them to the back of the hat like that. And see what I mean about them sticking up? They can't be floppy. That would not be, that would not look good. Cricut makes good stiff felt. I'll leave a link um, in the description below. I hope they still make them. I bought them. A long time ago, uh, I know that Cricut stopped making a lot of the products. Um, uh, if I find they, that uh, I can't find that brand, I will search another brand for you. But it has to be stiff felt. See, so we're going to glue it right to the back like that. He's already looking like a turkey, huh? <laughs> okay, now um, before I put the eyes on, I'm going to put the beak and the turkle on. So I'm going to attach the turkle to the beak. And I'm going to put it on where I want it to be. And I'm going to do this first um, because then I'll know where I want the eyes to be. Okay. So then I'm just going to grab uh, my white felt and just, just cut out two circles. Just eyeball it. I cut out two circles. And um, I'm just going to trace one on top of the other, make sure that they're almost the same size. I mean, you're just going to eyeball. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want them to be fairly the same size and the same shape. So I'm going to give this a little trim. Okay. I'm going to put the eyes right there and I'm going to use uh, two buttons. So I decided against using the black felt. You can cut uh, two black circles with the black felt, but I thought the buttons would be cuter. So I'm going to glue the white on and then I'm going to use little black buttons and glue the buttons onto the white.
Okay, just like that. There's the eyes. Cute. And then, last but not least, we're going to give him a little decoration on the top of his hat with the same um, feather color scheme. I used, uh, again, I used the yellow, the red, and the uh, orange, and I'm just gonna put them together, glue them together, and I'm just going to stick them at the top of the hat just to give it a little bit of a decoration. Put it right there. So put a little glue on the tip. Put it right there. And he's done. Our little turkey gnome. I think he's so cute. I love him. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again real soon. Happy crafting!